Hello. 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 Hi. How you doing? <laughs> we made it. Yeah. We made it. Oh my god. We're back in NY, man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, back at home. Been back for like a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> We've been still. active too. It's nah, not even like we fact. were hibernating. Yeah, facts. Y'all, y'all been seeing us. Chances are, you know what I mean. We've Hopefully, been, yeah. yeah. We've been putting in some, some, some good old fashioned twerk. You know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> that trabajo. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, man. Man. How y'all fellas doing? Good, man. Can't complain. Can't complain, yeah, man. Yeah. I do miss, I do miss the uh, clear skies there, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been gloomy today. Yeah, Rain. facts, facts. Kinda I miss it. DreamCon, bro. Ooh, For real. Those good times. Dream. Let's get down to brass tacks. Thanks. <laughs> As, so as, they our, say. Our, 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 as our Caucasian brothers would say. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Saul Goodman. Shout out to Saul Dude. Goodman. He's saying that a lot. Crazy. Yo, so what was y'all opinions of Dream Cons? First off, let's just establish it was all of our very first, first Dream Cons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First for me, it was my first like anime convention ever. Same. Or same, any same convention yeah. such as that. You know mm, what I'm saying? So same. it was like, I didn't really know what to expect. And um, I also just wasn't familiar with the with anime culture and cosplay culture as a whole mm-hmm. and uh i feel like dreamcon was good because like the people there were, were very easy going like mm-hmm. it was chill and uh i feel like i was able to enjoy myself but also like learn a lot about like how these things kind of work because it, it kind of feels like there's like a, a certain like decorum as some of our viewers would say mm. you know what i'm saying um but yeah, no, it was it was fun and it, it it made me excited to go to another DreamCon and just anime conventions in general. Nice, nice. Yeah, nice. no, I I thought um I didn't expect it to be so like big as it was like like populated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I mean cool. that center, the convention center was just huge. Yeah, in Austin. So yeah, yeah. Um, but like even just hearing them say that it started like the first year with what like five thousand and five hundred I think five hundred and so this crazy. year was like twenty thousand yeah crazy it's insane bro. exponential growth yeah like I just like seeing that was crazy but it also made a like limited like the amount of things you could see unless you wanted to wa- like wait in a super mm, long line mm. that was like the only thing that I would say is like but like that's kind of like comes with territory i guess when it's stuff like that you're just gonna you know people would yeah. wait in long lines i i i didn't do it yeah me neither. i don't know how people yeah wait you'd have to be waiting for like hour, hour, at least an hour, hour minimum yeah, yeah. yeah like you know how long out certain places so this was like this was my second one that i've i've been to well it's not dream con but like my second con that i've been to and the vibe for this one was a lot different than anime nyc it was just, so? it was just more like it just felt more well. It was more black for one, or just more like like urban. So I should yeah, say it, was, yeah, it was more a mixed bag in NYC. I mean, NYC, you in NYC. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you're gonna yeah. get a mixed bag regardless. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was just the vibe was just a lot more like. But I guess like that goes because the hosts probably. Well, yeah, yeah, no, definitely, That's definitely, why. definitely. You know what? It's, it's funny that you mentioned like that. It was like more urban. Is it, it, it kind of felt like. It almost felt familiar in a sense where, like, I didn't really feel like I was in Texas. Like, it kind of just felt like we kind of brought New York to, like, you know what I'm there saying? There was a shit ton of New York. There's you know really what I'm saying? Lot, with with some there. people from Chicago, shout out to the people we met in Chicago. Some people, I met someone from Charlotte, shout out to you. Um, there was Georgia. a lot from the South, obviously. Yeah, I, well, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the it South. Like but the South heavy. has, like, a really strong enemy following, like, like community, I should say. Like, they yeah. active over there and shit like that. But, I mean, I... It felt very like familiar in a sense, I, which I, was cool. I loved it. It was a good time. I would, yeah. I would definitely go back. I'm like curious Word. to see what other cons are like. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like. I'm. I think I know enough to not expect that from other cons. Maybe like vibe wise, it might be similar, but not like scale. Mm. Oh yeah yeah, 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 scale because there's other like more urban kind of there's like a, smaller. Yeah. Sm- yeah. There's yeah. gonna be small. It's just bound to be smaller. But um, I thought it was a good time. I didn't get yeah. to cosplay and shit as much as I, I would like know. to. Yeah. That would have that's, been a, that's a crazy story though. Oh that my god! You know what I'm saying? Because that's like a like. How often does that happen? The bags. I mean, it shit. It seems like it, it happens once every. More. Yeah, like somebody 
out of a, a friend group it, but, it, it might happen but too. That yes, the bad stuff does happen, but like the the, the culmination of things that happen to you in your situation uh. is very like that's crazy because it, it was just like one thing after the Another other. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, bro. To be like, honest, start? I felt like you handled it very calmly. I, which I is mean, sur- like to, I'm on fucking me, vacation, on vacation, bro. I'm yeah. like, I can't no. even like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine you just go, you you done took a, a a week off from work, yeah, and you're about to be stressed the whole time. I was like, I yeah. can't. And then I yeah. mentioned I'm with my friends, bro. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah. if I was just doing, do you think that helped? Oh, the situation tremendously, bro. Yeah, what if you were with the girl? You think it'd have been the same outcome? You a funny <laughs> guy, bro. Oh, shit. He's such a funny oh, guy. This shit. guy, this guy, I'm just saying. hilarious. It, it's what you think? Of, you think it would have been different? I, I think t- traveling with the girls is definitely different than traveling with the guys. I think so too. You know that I, I, I have to agree with you on that. I part. think that for some reason, I think it's pro- it's just like less of a. It's just like you kind of match your your energy niggas, with somebody else. Yeah, you know I ain't gonna niggas. Niggas are really like. What the like whatever, bro? Like kinda. we were roasting yeah. each other the entire trip. The whole trip, so, like, it was nonstop. Bro, like bro. when when guys get first of all, I don't even know if we really get mad at each other. But if that does happen, it'll last for like half an hour, and then you you, you make fun of him, keep bro. pushing. Yeah, yeah. But if we you were, were like, to argue with a girl on a trip, that shit could ruin the whole, yeah, whole entire night. trip. But like, yeah, like that's true. him and I and, and Daniel, bro, we were going like for jugular, bro, yeah. and it was just. Jokes the whole time. Yeah. Bro. That shit, that shit just makes everything so much better, bro. Yeah, like, it really yeah. did. Cause I mean, it's like at the end of the, you know, it's funny. Like people really be hitting me up, asking me why do I hate Ant. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's like my best friend, and like it's just that's just how I guess how we are. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, you, you, I guess you know, there's certain people that you can't do that with. You yes, know? It, it, I feel like, but like your guy friends. You gonna give them shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. just the basis of like, yeah. like when I lost the keys, <laughs> bro. Did you did you hear about this? Nah. Uh, this was the last day, right? Mm. So, was it the last day or was it the day before? Nah, you're it was right. The it last was the last day, day, day we last were day. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the con. So we left in the morning, and near the B and B, there was like this uh, bagel spot. Mm. This this was like a ten minute walk, but we would just get around with the little lime scooters. On yeah, the Uber yeah, things, yeah. Yo, and shout out to the lime scooters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and shout there would always be a few like around the Airbnb. So we would just walk two minutes to get one, and the the scooter ride to the bagel spot was like th- three minutes or less, right? So we get there, we're ordering one. That take that place took forever. Mad long. Sunday bro. morning, bro. We waited there for at least like it was like half an hour, bro. 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, which is crazy for some bagels. Yeah, yeah, it is wild. Um, it got packed. It wasn't even packed when we got there. Dead ass. But like it, got it got packed. Pe- bro, yeah, it was I an left. Area. I left and came back. There was a line, bro. Yeah. There was dogs and shit. It was crazy. Yeah, but anyways. Gosh. Anyway, so like we're there and we had order already. We're like, and I I I told I asked him, I'm like, yo, you got your pass? Uh you know the, the little badge. badge. And then I had seen it on the table before we left, and I was gonna uh, tell him. He didn't him. say anything, bro. Why wouldn't you say some shit? But in my head, I'm like also, it's your badge. It's your, like, it's, why are you not? That's you not know, my job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. then I remembered. I was like, oh, at least God we're not too far away. Yeah. Literally, we're right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm, so I'm like, all right. So he went to go get it, but so throughout the whole time, the trip, right. I had wait, the wait, wait, keys wait. to the B and B. Right? He's not gonna tell it right. I had no pockets in my cosplay because I was cosplaying that day, mm. right? So I had the keys. I scooted it back. I'm gonna keep it quick, right? I put the scooter in front of the shit. I go inside. I unlock. I unlock. Go inside. Get the badge. I'm out. Lock the door. Boom. Right. So then, I get on the scooter and I head back to the bagel shop. Right. Boom. Life is good. I have the badge. Right. We get the bagels. We go to get coffee. Coffee. Go to the um, the con. So after the whole day, right after we leave, like after we say goodbye to ya, mm. right, we go back, right, and we go onto the porch. And this was the, after the whole day Yeah, we, the whole day, bro back. It was like eight, nine hours or some shit Yeah, whatever. it's already what, like six yeah. o'clock-ish And sits down And he's looking at me I'm looking at him And then I look at the door And all of a sudden, everything click And I'm, and he just sees the panic in my face, bro Because I knew I didn't have the keys I gave <laughs> yeah. it to him yeah. And I, I just look at him You know what I say? Oh, shit <laughs> So how the fuck did y'all get in? Bro, so listen to right? this First of so, all, he didn't have bags 
But you I know he carries that 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 thing. You have that satchel the entire time, so you have your stuff in there. In Bro, my head, I had you could shit in there. You could have just zipped it I open and put the keys in there, shit. right? I ain't gonna front the keys is kind of. But this but is but what happened. Happened. Very so important. so I'm like, all right, it's probably at the bagel spot because we were there for mad long, and that was in the, the last morning, time I had it. Though, right, after a whole day. You see what I'm saying? So. <laughs> So I get on the scooter, and I ride over there, and I'm, like, right there. And they call me. They're like, yo, come back. We're getting a spare, blah, blah, blah. You just got to pay 50 beans or whatever. I'm like, all right, I'm going to see if I can save these 50 beans. So I go to the bagel spot. I'm all around. It's closed. You know what I'm saying? I don't find shit. So I'm like, fuck. So I, I take the, the the ride of Shane Paul's back. You know what I'm saying? And I get there, and he's like, come here for a second. He's like, come here. Let me show you something. So... <laughs> I look at the ground that he's pointing at. And I see the keys is right there, bro. Baking in the sun, I had bro. A feeling y'all niggas was gonna say that this shit was if bro, like, the whole was literally day, bro. in plain sight where the scooter was. So he like imagine where he parked up in the morning. He got off of the scooter, yeah. went to go unlock it, came back. Probably when I came back when he to, went to drive on the scooter, well, obviously, yeah. It felt right where the scooter was. Yeah. Wait, so it was that like on the premises of the Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right All in front right. basically. On the grass. It was there the entire day. When I picked it up, because I had I was more mad because I had my my rings on there. My ring that inspired this tattoo. Mm. I really like that ring. And uh, uh, other rings that I had from El Salvador. I was like, the key sucked, but like worse comes to worse. Somewhere we're getting in there. But I was like, yo, my my rings, like that kind of like got me like kind of down. So I was like, yo, while he went to go do that, and Daniel was just doing nothing, kind of. <laughs> oh, no, Daniel called places. He was like, maybe call the coffee shop, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. No one would answer. I was like, let me go walk around. On the off chance that this guy dropped it somewhere. Yeah. I go to where the scooter was, and it was there. When I picked it up, it was in the sun, Texas sun all day. That shit was and hot, It was be like hot, like. It was hot. So I'm surprised the hot. lighter I had didn't pop. It was hot. Because yeah, I hot. have a lighter on the keychain or whatever. But, mm. Man. bro, this guy literally, in my head, I'm like, how did it fall? Even if you were holding it <laughs> in your hand when you get it on the scooter. I was holding a lot of shit, man. Why did you just I was zip holding it into a lot the bag shit. you carry around space, your man. neck? Like, I didn't have space, man. You couldn't take anything out and replace it with the key, bro. Because I had it, no pockets. It, it, no, I'm it, in your bag. You it couldn't definitely take anything fit out in there. It definitely it, it, fit it in there. It wasn't gonna fit in there, bro. Nah, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, niggas is different, bro. And shit happens, man. It's a story now. Come on, man. This, nah, yeah. this, we're good. So <laughs> niggas lost their keys. Niggas, yeah. But could Air, you, airliner lost my fucking luggage. Still haven't gotten that back, by the way. Shout out to American Airlines and hey, United. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, you know know I, mean? I, I still just, take that sponsorship though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess money makes everything, right? Yeah, That's right. Cool. <laughs> what was the what was your favorite part of the con? Um, you want to go first? And I would first. say just like um, seeing linking up with like people from here over there to be honest, like Gordon and stuff like that out there. Yeah. Like seeing was it was it his first time too? Yeah. Yeah, so just like kind of like I guess experiencing it like you know everybody at the same time kind of like going into it. From home. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. seeing yeah. seeing how everybody else, you know, meeting new people, you know, yeah, the, the, sure. yeah, the guys over there, they were cool fun. and stuff like that. Right. Um Yeah, I, that's what I would say. I'd probably say like um either the Demon Slayer meet mm. or um I really I like the cosplay contest. But the very first like opening, when they were all talking about like the growth and stuff like that, and like just the whole yeah, 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 yeah. like the wow, whole wow, wow, setup wow. for that was like was so valid in that room yeah, with the mm. purple lights and everything. Yeah, it just yeah. felt yeah. I was like, damn, this shit, we're really here. Like it was yeah, like a moment yeah. that was a good, where I was yeah. yeah, like I was really present. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, and it's like it's inspirational to really hear like you know what I'm saying. Not just creators, but like you know a group of black creators really bringing something up you know what i'm saying together for the community yeah. like is it was just it was very inspirational yeah. and um it just made me want to push out more content bro like because this shit is really possible yeah you know that's what i i'm a firm believer in that shit and we you have know? been you know what i mean since we got back we pretty much just kept our nose to the grindstone type shit i mean if i have to pick a favorite part it really i would say it is kind of like the interviews that we took that was yeah. probably my favorite part because, like, um, 
we've done street interviews a, a shit ton of times, so yeah. it's nothing new. But um, I guess considering that it's an event and people are there on the same type of time, yeah. people are just so much more receptive to it. Yeah. And that's the thing that was kind of like new to me. I'm like, yo, you in the NY, people will talk to you, but you're going to get way more no's than you get yeses. Yeah. Over there, it was like way less abrasive. Yeah. I, I feel like I don't, I don't, we might have gotten like maybe like one or two no's from, from what I can remember. Yeah. yeah Every, if that, yeah. If that, like everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. was really with the shit. So it, that part was probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of people who knew people from the internet and met them for the first time mm-hmm. at the con. Yeah. There's one dude that like the dude that we had interviewed, uh, uh Mel Honcho. I follow him on Twitter. He's from NY. I just never seen him before. Mm. That was the first time I ended up seeing him. There's a handful of other people who I just followed that I, I seen for the first time. I was like, oh, this is cool, man. People really have these like these these niches that they've built. And then yeah. this is kind of when they come along and they link up and they do shit. So that part was dope to me. Yeah. I got an honorable mention. Mm. When we left the after party, we went to the uh, the Spanish bar. And oh, we was yeah. dancing. That yeah, was a yeah. good ass time. Bro. That was good. Yeah. I I had a lot of fun there. I didn't even yeah. lie. Well, I, I enjoyed myself on. a lot there. It was just, it oh, was just good vibes. And then they was fighting. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they was gonna start shooting. Yeah, and then we just kept sick. dancing after. Yeah, that was a good time. Shout out to Dirty Six, man. Yeah, Dirty yeah, Six yeah. is crazy. Yeah, Dirty Six was. There's. I don't think there's an equivalent to that in like that I've experienced in NY. Like there's like strips in NY, but mm-hmm. I've never seen like. A, such a concentrated area with just so much shit going on and everybody kind of just like going from place to place. Yeah. You see people in the street. You see people yeah, in yeah. the fucking bars and they shit shut like the that. street down. Yeah. I guess that, that a lot of it, I feel like, has to do with that because there's no like separation, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, it's like you can just walk across, walk across. Type that street of reminded me of like, uh, air, like uh, what's that area in New Orleans? Oh, Bourbon Street? Bourbon Street, yeah. Wow. Mm. Oh, see, I got to That's yeah, yeah, I got to yeah. see that now. I fuck around. Yeah, I got to yeah. see I now. You're go putting that shit Ooh, in my head bro. now. Yeah, yeah, that it was just a wider Ooh. street, but it was that type of vibe. That type of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's sick. Nah, nah. Niggas got to yeah. make that trip at some <laughs> point. I'm with the, I'm with the little uh, New Orleans, Louisiana yeah, trip, man. That'd be a vibe. That'd be a vibe. That'd definitely be a vibe, man. Yeah. The fucking food was pretty good too. I ain't gonna lie, that Texas barbecue, that shit held it down. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. And the shit was like, I don't wanna say it's that much cheaper, but like, I feel like food was a bit cheaper over there than it was here. Really? Yeah. Like, there was this one spot that we went to called P. Terry's. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dash they, was telling me about that shit. I saw cheap. that. I saw that. Bro, burger, I think like a burger was like, like maybe like $4. No way. Yeah, I'm like, That's I make chicken is four dollars here yeah. now, which is crazy. But you know what I mean? I'm like, damn. I remember when them says it was one nineteen. Type shit is yeah, yo literally. a lot changed. Goddamn, shout out to inflation, you dirty bastard. Yeah, yeah. man, shit. Yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm with going to. Would y'all be down to go to other cons? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think um, it would be easier for me to go to cons in New York just because like you know taking time off to travel is like kind of difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. But um, nah, like. The people there really inspired me to do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And just the, the content, the people that we met, like, I really fucked with the people that we met. Yeah. For real. Like, for sure. even now, like, I'm talking to a lot of them on the gram. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, you know, yeah. just, like, yo, keep in contact. I'll see you at the next one. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It's like, you know, when Mike Rico was like, you know, it's, it's really like a, a family community. I really see what he means now, mm. you know? The one thing I will say about that... Is that I feel like that like the anime community reminds me to a certain well I think everywhere it kind of reminds me of high school but I'll say it kind of reminds oh, like me of clicks. high school a little bit it's very clicky mm. very clicky if you don't know people like I'm not gonna say it's hard to to make to make friends because if you're just a cool person I feel like if you're cool you cool wherever the fuck you are you know what I mean but like yeah. it is like a very if you know you know kind of ideal you know what i mean it's like Mm. it's like it could be kind of like i don't know i feel like making friends as an adult is just in general just a little bit harder and i think that it's somewhat similar there but i mean i think that if you were just trying to get into the scene without having a like a reason to or 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 having somewhere to congregate it would be a little bit harder but like if you went there without really knowing too many people you could have easily met a bunch of different people 
and mm-hmm. kind of got into got loopy with, with people and shit like that because people were for the most part very like approachable. Yeah. 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 Nah, that's right. a fact. I, I didn't know this until after, but apparent like the the whole like um is it like assumption or mm. stereotype mm. that they had? Mm. But I didn't really experience that at uh, at DreamCon that that the the stink or the oh smell or something like that. I will say it smelled like cheese in the because well, that the was because of the food. The, pe- the food, the pizza, it just stunk. Yeah. But the people that there though, I didn't really yeah, get that. Uh, they were hygienic. Yeah, I I didn't know that was like a, a thing. I didn't know either until he told us like yesterday. I mean, you never. <laughs> that's I find like it's an, it's kind of like a nerd thing. Like mm. you ever you, niggas what what niggas is good at games? But yo, he's he getting extra sweaty. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I mean, what that's what it kind of okay. stems from. Yeah, the, the, okay. The niggas do be uh, like when I went to Anime NYC, for the most part, it was good, but there was, you know, what I mean, you, you pass a trail of folks, mm. you gonna get that, you go, <laughs> that, 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 that wind is gonna, oh, shit. pungent, and not to mention, like, especially there, which is very impressive, it's the dead of summer. Hundred yeah. fucking plus yeah, it degrees. Was 101 in people cosplay. in cosplay, but people held it down, man. Yeah. Yo, sh- yo, DreamCon. Shout yeah. out to yeah. y'all for real, cause y'all really. Shit was elite. Yeah, y'all shit really showered and shit, and that's <laughs> like we can't let that go unnoticed. We appreciate yeah, yeah, that, yeah. bro. It's solid, 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 man. Shit, man. But DreamCon was lit. Maybe anime NYC. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, man. That'd be fire. That'd, that'd be, be lit. Fire. You know what I mean? Definitely got to get some more content. Yeah. The interviews. It was just... I like talking to people. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, funny interactions. Yeah. That's, like... What What would you say, like, your favorite that you did was? <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it on camera. I think I know what you're talking I know, about. I think I know, too. Which one? Which one? Wait, hold up! I, I, I don't think <laughs> y'all know. I, I don't think y'all know. Oh, didn't you post? No. It, didn't you post it to your close friends? Huh? Nah. nah. It wasn't um. What's that bitch from from uh? What's it called? Titans. Uh, oh, Ra- nah, 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 not even nah. That was but shots to Raven, Raven, <laughs> Raven's I, we love I Raven. thought you were gonna say Ruckus. Nah, not Man. even. Nah, that not one was either. funny though. It was. It was such a quick... All right, so I'll explain to you. I'll explain it very briefly, right? So when we were standing outside of... No, we're not standing outside, but we was online for that fucking... Well, we walked past that line to see, like, the the, the streamers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And they had popped their head out. People started cheering. Ah, There's one dude, that dude... Remember Means for Dante? Yeah. Dante was there. Mm-hmm. And he poked his head out of the, the curtain. And then there was, like, five or six young men... Jumping up, it's oh. like Dante, Dante. Yeah, Dante. yeah, yeah. You know, there was, you know what I mean. And me and Gordon, Gordon was like, "Yo, I am, I am. I, my eyes are open. I've never seen anything like this." Yeah, I remember that. And we were talking about it, and uh, and then uh, let's just say an, an older gentleman who frequently roams the streets overheard what we were talking about, and he had comments about it. And I'm gonna just leave it oh, at that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I tell you, I love Gara. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo. That was an interview, though. No, 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 not an interview. Not an oh, interview. That was just uh, like an interaction. interaction. Oh, yeah, okay, like okay, genuine okay. interaction with with oh, a local. Okay, okay. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Shit, man. Damn. Good times. Good times. Y'all need Hopefully to go check out the be. interviews, though. Yes, yes sir. Um, and uh, by this time, the vlog. Yeah, the vlog. With yeah. the other interviews is facts. going to be up. Yep. Make sure you go check that out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with us again. Yeah, make sure to check out the other episodes and more to come. Yes. With more guests. Yes. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace, peace, peace to the Middle East. Still.